Hey everyone, this is Brian with TheUnlocker.com and today we're here with the Motorola Droid Razor and we're going to show you how to completely restore your device using the Fastboot files. So the people that are watching this video, uh, you've probably uh, foobarred your phone at this point in time and you're looking for a way to get back. Uh, we are definitely going to be able to show you how to do that here. Uh, what you're going to need is ADB installed on a device that you can connect uh, to your Motorola Droid Razor, so a laptop, desktop, uh, some sort of PC. You're going to need ADB installed. Other than that, your phone can be in pretty much any state, uh, and most most likely you're going to be uh, probably caught in a boot loop where you're not able to boot into recovery and you're not able to boot into your actual ROM. All right, now we're going to need some files to download to be able to complete this. Uh, so the first thing you're going to want to do is check out the link below uh, this video on the unlocker.com, and we'll show you where to get all these files. Uh, you can see these two that I've got highlighted right here. These are the fastboot files as originally posted. Uh, it's in a two-part file. Uh, where one's a 001 file and one's a 002 file. All that essentially means is you have to join them together using something like HJ Split or something like that. Uh, but we will also have a link uh, for this file right here, which is basically just the entire file. Uh, basically, it was just split up so that uh, free users could initially download it on whatever file server. Uh, this was uh, attached to or uploaded to, uh, but then uh, other people have uh, have gone ahead and uploaded a full version, so you don't have to worry about you know joining the files back together. So if you just want the one file download, uh, just go ahead and click that. Um, then what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to get RSD Lite, and the version you're going to need is 5.6. If you don't have 5.6 and you're running with 5.3 or 5.5. This probably isn't even going to work for you, so go ahead and download the new version of RSD Lite, and then uh, we'll go ahead and launch that and show you how to how to set this all up. All right, quickly on our phone, what we're going to need to do, whatever state you're in, uh, make sure you go ahead and completely power off your device. So obviously, we're in a complete working state here. Uh, you probably won't be, uh, so go ahead and just make sure you uh, you know press and hold your power button and kill the power to your device. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hold, and I'm going to try to do this, got to kind of pick it up. You got to press and hold both the volume up and the volume down button at the same time. And once you have both of those buttons pressed down, uh, go ahead and, and press your power button. And that will enter you into uh, this menu here, which gives you all kinds of uh, different options. Uh, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to scroll down to AP fast boot and what you're going to do is you're going to press volume down to scroll through the list so you can only scroll down through the list uh, when you want to actually select uh, one of these items and, and for this we're going to select AP fast boot go ahead and press volume up now it's going to take you to this screen that tells you your device is locked which is referring to the bootloader and then battery OK, OK to program, connect USB, uh, data cable. So we're going to go ahead now and connect our USB cable and then we'll pick it up from there. Alright, now that we've connected our data cable, go ahead and connect the other end in, into your computer. And again, your computer that you're connecting this to must be set up with ADB, so it's got to recognize your device as an ADB device. Um, and at this point in time, it'll go ahead and install drivers and that kind of thing. And then we're going to open up RSD Lite 5.6. Alright, once you've uh, opened up RSD Lite, you'll get a screen that looks much like this. Uh, everything will be completely blank. Go ahead and press this uh, little uh, button here so you can open a file. And then we're going to look for this uh, fast boot file. You don't need to do anything with it in terms of unzipping it or anything like that. Uh, just the zip file that you download. And again, I recommend clicking the, uh, the link for the one file. That way you don't have to join this yourself. So uh, just download the complete file. It's about, uh, I think it's 1.2 uh, gigs. So uh, now go ahead and double click that. And then these are the options you're going to be presented with. Uncompress only, uncompress and start flashing, which at this point in time is still grayed out for us. I haven't had this work for me yet, so don't worry about it. Just go ahead and uncompress it. 
and then this will take quite a few minutes to run and basically it's going to uncompress uh, into a temporary folder all of the files that are in that zip file uh, and because it's you know 1.2 gig it does take some time so just be patient and wait for this to finish all right now that that file is done uh, uncompressing basically what you're going to have is a screen that looks like this uh, you're going to have file properties over here you're going to see that uh, for phone model spider uh, which is the code name for the uh, Droid Razor. Uh, and then up here in the file name, uh, we've got uh, the VRZ uh, blah 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 912. If you've got the uh, GSM version of this phone, you're going to have uh, 910. So make sure when you download the correct, you know, the, the file, uh, the fastboot files, make sure you grab the correct version. And once your phone's connected, you're going to see down here in the status that uh, our phone is indeed connected. And if we look at the phone itself, uh, we can see that it says USB connected down here. Uh, so our device is connected and we are ready to start flashing. Alright, so back on RSD Lite on your computer here, we're going to go ahead and click the start button. And then down here it's going to constantly give us a status of where we are. Uh, you can see it's got a little progress bar that it'll show here, and there are 18 different steps that this needs to go through. During this time, uh, your phone may flash, uh, the screen will turn off, turn back on. Don't worry about it, and don't rush things. Just let it sit here, let it run. It goes pretty fast up until I think it hits about, uh, might be this step here, uh, step 12, and then it starts going slower as it's actually flashing all of your system files. Alright, once that's done flashing, uh, your status will change to uh, reboot, and essentially your phone is rebooting, and it'll be stuck at the dual core screen for a while. Uh, it's very important at this point in time, you still don't, don't get impatient, don't pull your uh, USB cable, uh, just sit here, have a cup of coffee, and let this do its thing. It's, it's going to take a few more minutes, so it's probably taking about... Uh, 10 to 12 minutes at this point in time and it's going to take a few more minutes before your phone's actually back up and operational. Now once the uh, Motorola icon goes away uh, you're going to essentially have this screen which shows that it's flashing a new firmware uh, so it is flashing the stock firmware at this point in time. The status on RSD Lite still says reboot. You don't need to worry about that just continue to wait have another drink of coffee. And once that's done flashing, we've got the uh, Motorola dual core icon here. Uh, and this is going to continue to sit for a few. And then we're going to be greeted with our uh, normal uh, you know, stock boot animation. And then once that's done, uh, the phone will boot up. And as soon as it does, uh, we'll, we'll pick it up from there. Now we've booted back up, and here's our uh, default lock screen. And we're now back into our... Uh, default stock ROM as it was shipped uh, from Verizon or wherever you purchased it from. Uh, RSD Lite essentially says uh, the status is finished. You can go ahead and close that out now. Disconnect your cable and uh, you can go back to uh, you know rooting, ROMing, doing whatever with your device. Maybe you want to leave it stock. Maybe you're trying to sell it. Uh, whatever the case may be, you're restored now and everything should be good to go. Uh, if you do want to you know, get back into rooting, ROMing, all that stuff, we've got all the videos for you. So be sure to check out theunlocker.com and uh, check out our videos on the Motorola Droid Razor. I'm sure you'll find exactly what you're looking for. This is Brian with theunlocker.com and we'll see you next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.